Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday the 9th of January 2018. So the pound remains sideways uh, as we looked at yesterday, the market waiting for the Brexit vote on uh, Tuesday next. And uh, yeah, uh, just above the 76% retracement stuck in a range there. And I would expect this to remain that way unless something happens as far as uh, announcements are concerned from the government, but otherwise it may be a case of uh, stepping aside and just waiting. As you can see yesterday as well, which I already warned of, that the market is likely to be sideways. And it was for the majority uh, of the session. And then eventually, once it uh, broke through the 200 bar moving average, this came, became resistance and the market uh, then moved lower and then went into a range and then uh, has moved higher on the overnight. Uh, an interesting uh, picture here the market's currently below both the uh, dp and the 200 bar moving average so a bit of weakness there which means that uh, we could see prices uh, move a bit lower down towards the 20 bar moving average in the daily charts now news today uh, we've got a few uh, fomc and central bankers out today uh, federal reserve there we go that's all off them there so we've got um, Evans speaking, medium news, Carney, he's out at 3.30, he's going to be talking about how bad Brexit is and why uh, any impact it's going to have on the economy, no doubt. And then we've got the FOMC meeting minutes, uh, nothing, don't expect a lot from this one this time as we're just into the start of the new year there. Meanwhile in the Dow, uh, if we look at the daily chart first, you can see this market's moving higher. Uh, interesting picture here because uh, the volume is more or less the same for the last two days not really making much progress uh, see what uh, FOMC does today see if it uh, ignites this market to the upside but really not making uh, any move back to the upside at all you can see there 24063 is going to be the area of resistance in this market to the upside at uh, the next sort of level this is where the selling took place you can see here so we'll wait and see but it's not really making up uh, any ground it's not certainly a v-shaped correction which uh, would see the all-time highs uh, back again which is not happening at all and in uh, yesterday's session uh, you can see the market moving higher in the pre-market session we discussed this uh, the market there at 750 closing above the 200 bar moving average and then remaining above this throughout the pre-market session the market moving from the 200 bar moving average we just uh, do a ballpark figure here to this high 300 points and yesterday's session having moved 300 points to begin with they thought they would take a few profits you can see the market moving higher initially and then you've got the selling coming in try again and then they decided to move the market lower some buying pressure here and uh, some short covering there and then the market uh, moves uh, lower all the way down through the 200 bar moving average but then moves back comes back through comes back through for what well this uh, is quite uh, simple really from there to there you see a 76% retracement and then the markets back through the 200 bar and then through again here having come back and then moving to the upside there so a bit of a choppy day again waiting for the uh, Fed discussions today no doubt and then finally in uh, Bitcoin this market is trapped between three 960 and 4079 you can see there yesterday the market spiked up uh, which you can see here this is the top of that spike uh, which was i'll just do that again this time remove the extend right and then we'll see it uh, 4130 so there you can see you're just breaching uh, the 4079 but then coming back looking uh, still positive uh, the market hasn't broken back down below the 3960 as of yet 
Okay, that's a quick roundup of events. Don't expect too much from the pound. A uh, lot of central bankers speaking today. See what uh, impact they have on the stock market and Bitcoin, I would expect to remain more or less range bound at the moment. And with that, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.